Hello there and welcome to Frostpunk 2 Beta. Oh yes baby, it is finally here. I might be a little late for the for the party, but um, here we go. So Frostpunk 2, it's been... or we've been waiting for this for quite a long time. We definitely enjoyed Frostpunk 1 quite a lot, although we didn't feature it on the channel for too much. I think we did only like a one little playthrough, but um, yeah been super excited for this to come out and we've only got this for a week so let's uh let's jump straight in in here and uh obviously everything's very limited there might be some bugs crashes and things so um i think what we'll do is i've had a quick look around uh sort of get a good understanding of the controls and everything but uh we're still gonna set it for easy just so we can be pretty chill and laid back so uh we've got some different options over here however we can only do the colonization over here and then uh, maps as well, everything's yeah, not available in this preview here. Okay, cool. So let's begin. Let's have a look over here. All I know about Frostpunk 2, uh, which might be a little bit surprising since I really wanted to or couldn't wait for this. But, oh, that was a bit creepy, but okay, here we go. So yeah, um, the uh, first one was really all about surviving the, the Great Storm. Now... This is, I think it was like 30 years later or so, where they've survived. And the next step is, okay, what now? How are we gonna keep the city run running? Okay, so uh, right off the bat, we are gonna need... Are we paused now? No. Okay, here we go. So um, we are gonna need some coal just to keep the, the city running. Let's have a look. We've got a bit of a tutorial over here, how to do things. So what's pretty cool is in the first one, we could, um, or well, we were building all these houses, but now it appears that, oh, let's have a look over here as well. Uh, it appears that we are gonna be building districts instead. So first of all, since this map is covered in heavy snow, we're gonna have to clear this space up a little bit. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit as well. And um, yeah, so um, frost break, new area, here we go. We've got a bit of coal in here that we can use shallow coal deposit construct districts and hubs so we've got industrial district which will be outputting some goods then we have extraction districts and that's going to be for coal and extracting other resources uh, outputting materials coal and some other materials as well and then we've got this food district over here obviously putting out or outputting some food and then housing for the for the people all right, so we can do a small one out oh here. Okay, so it's a little bit crowded, but we are going to create a tiny bit of space in here. Right, right, right. Construct an extraction district on a coal deposit. So whilst we're waiting for this, we could also... We are definitely going to need some more houses very, very soon. So why don't we... This one seems to be a bit more free over here, isn't it? Hmm, are we going to go around or shall we create this little blob over here? I think that's exactly what we are going to do. And, uh, alright, we've got the coal deposit now as well. If I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, that is the extraction district that we can build over here. I think I'm going to try and build it away from the city. Yeah, so we, we don't really want to disturb everyone that lives in here. So, um, okay, let's build this really quickly. Now, one very important thing to note about this beta is we have about 300 weeks before it runs out. So right now we are on week 12 and uh, some of those houses are already done. It will be cool. Okay, shelter from cold. Good. We've secured new source of coal for the generator, but now we need shelter. Without it, people will freeze to death regardless how hot the generator runs. Okay, the closer the better. Sure thing. Maybe we should have done like little strips over here. Um, maybe. Yikes. Okay, well, it's fine. Let's just go this way a little bit. Maybe we'll leave a bit of a cap in here. And here you go. Here's another one. Construct two housing district. This one's almost done. How are we producing? Let's see. Total output is 120. You are requiring materials, however. Okay. And then, yeah, what's quite interesting as well, they've uh, kind of created more like a white cleaner UI, which is interesting. Security for the future, stockpiling, and basically what we're saying is about coal, heat to the city, 
And stockpiling the surplus. Okay, I see. Uh, how can we stockpile? Let's have a look at this hub over here. Air transport hub. Okay, proximity workforce requirement in neighboring districts is decreased. Okay. Um, maybe a little bit later. Fuel, goods. Okay, we might do a fuel depot. Where can we do you? We can place you here. All right, interesting. One over there. These ones are constructing. So yeah, another interesting thing that we have in this game is that now we do have factions. So this one over here is the Foragers clan. They seem to be neutral towards us and they take up about 49% of the population. And then machinists over here, their community is neutral as well and they are 51%. Okay, so uh, let's have a look over here. Scraping the barrel, we need to select an existing housing district. And we are going to expand you. Okay, that seems and sounds like a pretty easy task. Oh, okay, let's place you over here. I think we might have to clear up some areas in the future. But every time we... Let's press X again. Here we go. So the frost breaking... If I'm not mistaken, it's actually going to take some of those heat stamps. So let's not use them just yet. I mean, I might be wrong, but I'm um, pretty sure I saw it somewhere. Okay, so uh, Research Institute. It is time. Uh, hold on a second. Here we go. And now we should be able to do a Research Institute over here, which means uh, nothing just yet. What's the problem now? Oh, you're still building up. Okay, not a problem. Here we go. We've got a bit of a pop-up over here. Different ideas. All right, so here we go. Communities. A small crowd gathers outside of the new research institute, arguing how to exploit the last coal veins. The machinists want us to lean on machine-powered mining, but foragers would have us pursue a more frugal solution. They would never display such discord in the captain's heyday. You have to choose who to entrust with developing their idea. All right. Well, let's have a look at those up options uh, straight away we've got this idea tree over here we need new ideas to move forward however different communities may propose diverging answers to the same issue they will only pursue solutions that align with their worldview all right choosing a community to develop an idea will improve your relations with that community okay so what shall we do next gold mines it seems and uh, since we have two communities we can either do dust coal mine or grinding coal mine. So let's have a look. Output is going to be a little bit more. Takes more materials though as well. Slightly increased. I mean, for a little bit less output, we also require a lot less materials. So how about we develop the, um, the dust one? Okay, well, it's fine. Let's just do this one. We'll see how it goes. And then we need to construct here as well. Let's speed it up just a tiny bit. And uh, we can't research anything else. Okay, so we got the survival tab over here. Then we got economy as well. Not a lot of options just yet. And then society. So hospitals, looking after the people, watchtowers. That rings a bell. Sounds a little bit familiar from Frostpunk 1. And then, um, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty cool. And then um, the UI is pretty straightforward as well. I, I do like how it's clean. And uh, yeah, so time control, dates over here, resources, and then the weather forecast to the right. So it's going to drop a little bit. Right now, what are we on? Minus 20. It's going to go minus 30, 40, and then back to 30. Okay. Stockpiles de depleted. Okay. A current output will satisfy some of the demand, but probably will mount over time. Actually, probably should have turned you off for a little bit. Okay, now construct this newly researched item as well. Let's place you... Oh, we don't have space anymore. Well, that's a little bit embarrassing. Let's do you over there. And... There we go. Lovely, let's get this done as well so our mission shall be completed. We need a council. Um, research me. We should probably do something else. I would like to go for logistics bay over here. But uh, let's see, build the council hall. Let's do this one first, because I feel like that's going to push us forward in our missions as well. All right, looming cold. As the cold problem in our city continues to worsen, we must take action to protect our citizens. 
In these harsh conditions, people need a roof over their heads and enough heat to warm their homes. Is the generator powerful enough to heat the city? Question mark. Or do we need to extract more fuel? If our current methods aren't enough, we should consider alternatives. Okay, so maybe they're saying we should... Yeah, let's burn some some stuff over here. Right, so I had a quick look around the map as well. We do have old way station over here. So it's just basically ruins of an old way station battered down during whiteout years. So um, yeah, this is how we can send our scouts out to the the great unknown. Or maybe it's known now since it's been a few years. Okay, here we go. We are... Oh, I've done it wrong. I should have opened this area up a little bit more. Oh well, that's fine. Now we are going to have to enact a new law through the successful vote in the council. All right, here we go. First council session, let's go right in there. And wow, will you look at that. People are struggling outside, but this looks like super fancy in here. Doesn't look like these guys are very cold now, are they? Oh, we can actually move around here as well. I did not know that. It's a bit of a struggle, I'll be honest. All right, here we go. So, um, what shall we propose? Hmm. Um, did it tell us uh, enact a new law through? Okay, so it doesn't really matter what we enact. So let's have a look at our options. We've got childhood. Hmm. <laughs> Funerals. Well, no one's died just yet. Economy might be. Hmm, survival, food additives, goods. Goods would be good as well. Okay, how about we look at our economy? So, we're probably going to have some people come in here. Community service, voluntary and unfocused communal effort. Hmm, okay. So, sickness prevention over here. That will be lovely. Basic necessities. Okay, so what do we do over here? So, we've got free essentials or bathe essentials. Bathe essentials. Gives us the heat stamps income increase, which will be wonderful. Uh, resource production as well. Trust will rise. Okay, I mean, ri raising the trust is great, but um, don't really see a lot of gain from here. So why don't we, why don't we go with this option? So we do need a 51 votes, and for that, uh, we should probably negotiate a little bit. Okay, machinist, let's have a look at you guys. We would want you to vote uh, for it. Hmm. City. So, yeah, we've got three options. Basically, we, we've got to promise them something. Uh, essentially, I'll uh, scratch your back if you scratch mine. So, um, the top one here, Community Action Fund Project, is probably the easiest. Yeah, spend some resources and you guys are going to love us. Um, <laughs> everyone must support the extraction work in an effort to gain more. We could do this one actually as well. So save the resources and this could be our next development. So yeah, let's um, do that. We're going to vote. Uh, here we go. The session is in progress. You'll see those uh, lights pop up as well or light up. And we've got 79.4. That was the first law. And here we go. All right. What next? Uh, you guys are still cleaning up this area. Build a logistic district in place of one of the old way stations. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we are hoping to achieve over here. Let's give you a... L hmm. Well, hold on a second. Bit more space over here. So we can build you... Would we be building towards here? Maybe... Okay, let's do one more over here and one more over there. Lovely. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit as well. How many more heat stamps do we have? 582. Okay, not too bad. Uh, next one. We are going to have to find a permanent source of fuel as well. Interesting. Okay, then we need to do some uh, establish a food colony, fuel colony, materials as well, and then explore the frostland territories. Okay, Bar City Development Effort. Uh, that's going to be our next one. We should probably research something. So, Logistics is going to be the next one, wasn't it? Uh, teams Output, 15 teams. That would be wonderful. 
We are going to take some more workforce though as well. Okay, fine. We are doing that one. Okay, so the area seems to be cleaned up. Let's grab our district that we do want to build in here. And that is the logistics. Oh, well, here we go. Let's build it nice and all together. I love it how all those roads are established pretty much automatically as well. And just like in the previous Frostpunk, we still get this sort of like a circular road network as well, which is very, very lovely to see. Now, um, we've got 35 weeks for this, so I'm not too worried. We shall get this one built, however. 23 more people are sick and unable to work in the city. All right, scour the frostland. Stuff is done over here. Oh dear, one second. We do have a bit of a event or a story time. So Sue Miller, 12 Street Urchin. Looking for trouble. Cindy, it looks like Cindy's been looking for a bit of, bit of trouble. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what she got. And what it's saying is the lack of a law regulating childhood is causing tensions to rise throughout the city. Okay, sure thing. I'm uh, certain we will and shall figure something out. But before we do that, let's have a look over here as well. We've got some uh, the, the the almighty famous Frostland. First waypoint over here. We followed a petrified river up through the forest and spotted a sharp bend north of here. Could be an indicator of an underground resource, likely oil or gas. Okay, so the question is, which way is north? Um, yeah, so unfortunately there isn't, or at least I can't see an indication which way is north. I mean, when we press V, oh no, it's not gonna reorient itself. Oh well, we are, and we shall check up or check out this area since it has a bit of a note or a blinky thing in there. Yeah, let's have a look. We'll, we'll be back as soon as the mission is complete. Alrighty, so um, what next? Food colony, these things, fancy stuff, and city development effort. Let's have a look at this as well. Okay, well that's easy. It seems to be under economy and... Oh, alright. So, a couple of options here, but it seems they do want this one which increases the material output heat stamps for this one and heat demand is decreased okay well let's go with this one it seems we already have 51 for it so we don't really need to negotiate let's put it on vote and here we go it seems a couple more people have joined us and the promise was kept as well, so these guys should be uh, super stoked right now. Alright, let's have a look. You guys are going over. I'd love to have some more teams over here. So what can we do? Right click for more information. Alright, here we go. Construct logistic districts, conduct research and pass laws to field more teams. Okay, well I did notice that there is another waypoint or way station right over here. Hold on a second. Are we... I'm just gonna try. I know we don't have... a lot of... hmm... heat stamps. However, if we get more scouts... might be able to bring and net more resources. How about we expand you as well? Or... hold on a second. Let's give you a bit more space in here. There we go. And what can we do? Can we also... No, we can't go this way anymore. Interesting. What about... No, let's try and keep this nice and tidy in here. 1,583 more people live among us. Well, that's quite a, quite a few extra mouths to feed. The city grows... Okay, yeah. Steward, a new count has revealed a significant growth in our population in recent weeks. Some attribute the rise to an influx of settlers from the Frostland, others to births outnumbering deaths. Okay. Hmm. I see. We're most likely going to have to do some laws very soon, aren't we? Temperature. Oh, yep. It is dropping. Well, you're still running. How about we put you in overdrive? So hopefully no one's going to get sick. 
Should probably keep an eye on this as well, but I'm sure we will be fine. Alright, another story bit over here. Let's just expand you real quick. Here we go. Love to get some more teams and let's have a look over here. Okay, Rexdale45 Entrepreneur are returning from the city approach trail. Profitable day and okay. Uh, seen some people, done some stuff and lately there's been less of them. Maybe word is getting around, gotta take advantage while it lasts. The lack of a law regulating outsiders is decreasing population growth. Okay, I mean, we knew they were gonna complain sooner or later about this, so that is okay. So, uh, railways? What is this? Develop idea... Um, hold on a second. Are you taking heat stamps as well? That's kinda weird. That's not heat stamps, is it? Or is it? Um, railway... Heated railway tracks, okay. Unlocks railroad connection can be built in Frostland, allowing to ship more resources from colonies and outposts. Okay. Would be cool, but it sounds like it's a bit more distant thing. Goods factory. Worker shift. Oh, filtration towers as well. What is this one here? Uh, structure that circulates the ambient air through natural moss that absorbs and filters impurities. Okay. Uh, economy. Anything housing block. Are you going to give us anything interesting? Eat more shelter. Uh, I, I think we're fine right now. Hospitals, watchtowers. No, so we should probably do something in here. I mean, one of the things we researched before. All the laws we took was something about the goods, wasn't it? Facility using old domestic goods. And no matter how soiled, to manufacture new ones with minimal resources. Okay. Calibrated goods factory refurbishing. 30 goods output. Disease and heat. Heat is more. Slightly 30 goods. Ooh. Okay, let's go with those machinists over here. For now at least. All right, hunger, miner, extremely increased by food scarcity. Well, that's not good. Uh, we've got some fertile grounds over here, and I think we have... Let's not do that. I believe we have enough space in here, so a logistics center or food district is going to go... Hmm. Maybe somewhere here. Yeah, that would do. Um, right, right, right. Let's have a look at this over... Here again, you guys are still busy, aren't you? Oh yes, you are. So we'll leave you be. Let's have a look. What can we? What can we do next? Logistics and oh, okay. So you are gonna give us fifteen Frostland teams. You gotta take a few heat stamps as well, which is a little bit unfortunate. One hundred and twenty. That hurts. But those teams are gonna be useful, and hopefully, I don't actually know. Do we get like? Hmm. I mean, the um, the stamps from here. Unsafe, unsafe territory. This one's safe, so off you go. Go and explore that. Hopefully... Hold on a second. Can we send you here as well? Oh, yes, we can. Let's send uh, both of those teams out. Lovely. So the city's definitely growing. Uh, what do we have? We don't have this industrial district. Let's have a look. What is this one about? Um, you would produce goods. Hmm. Okay, growing hunger. Oh. Yep, we see this and we, I promise, we're gonna do something about it as well. I'm very sorry. Here we go. We'll get this going. And we can expand you. Hopefully that's gonna net us Total output is 72 right now. Give it a second. And now 96 it is. Let's have a look. So we are... Oh, output is only 160. And demand is 174. Well, that's not good, is it? Hmm. Okay. What about you guys? How many more days? One week, four days. Well, that's fine. And then you guys are researching or exploring there as well. Okay. Well, I think we've been doing pretty good so far. Let's see what the first mission... Uh, hold on a second. What's happening here? Oh, here we go. We got a coal mine. Let's have a look. 
We do have to connect you with the trail as well. Mm, we can't go through here because we're not connected just yet. But, um... Oh, you're going to cost materials. Okay, so what we might want to do... Let's see, we were building this trail here already. Can we build it all the way here? Oh, yes, we can. So what we can then do... This could be a slightly bit more direct access. Well, that's pretty cool. There's another one here. I see. So we need to carry on this way. We can't launch you because we don't have the resources. Wait, not enough resources. What do you mean? Uh, we've got the people. We've got some uh, heat stamps here as well. A little bit. No, you require something. Oh, 20. Okay, that's why I'm a little bit blind. But okay, I think the game is pretty exciting so far. I do like the, some of those new mechanics, such as not building individual houses, but doing districts, but also how and what they've done with the research and the laws, the council. And I uh, can't wait to explore a little bit more. But let's do this in the next episode when we uh, check out some of the other missions and continue expanding our city yet again. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon.